Hello, so this is the workflow that I use to create the wine render in SOLIDWORKS Visualize. So to start, the first thing I did in, in SOLIDWORKS is I just have my regular wine bottle and my glass. And in the glass, I have the wine. So it's just a surface and I revolved it. So it's a surface sketch and I revolve it. And in the wine bottle, it's the same thing. And if I go into that wine glass, I can show you what it looks like. So under the surface, and I'll just go to edit sketch. And I made sure I just offset it a little bit, 0.1 inches, so it's not touching the glass. And I just revolve it as a surface. So once we have everything done, once we have everything done, um, and we set it, so that's how I prepped it before I import it into Visualize. So now I'm just going to browse into my file location and grab my wine and drop it into my viewport. And I just leave this settings on and automatic and I click OK. And um, now I have my wine bottle. So under the model tab, I am going to click on preview and enable pretty much the reflections and for floor shadow and snap the object to floor. So and I'm just going to zoom, pull it around somewhere around here. So that's pretty much all I did in the model tab. Then in the under the appearance tab, I tweak the appearance a little bit um, just to match but for the most part um, everything imports from SOLIDWORKS very well so you don't you only have to do minimum tweaking so I ended up changing the color of the bottle from green and I just made sure the green had like a dark tinted black in it so I tweaked the appearance a little bit and I saved it in this folder under my my wine folder so I'm just going to add my edited appearance to it so to start the cap i changed the cap so i'm going to add that to the cap and the wine the red wine is the on the inside i'm going to add it to that and the wine bottle is this green one i'm going to add it to the bottle and the wine glass is that so i'm going to add it to the wine glass so if I go back in my under my appearance, um, the red wine should be so I, I'll just right click copy and because I still have another red wine in there that I want to assign it to, I'm just going to assign that red wine. So now this one red wine is the same for the bottle and the glass. So that's what I did to start. So I'm just going to right click delete all unused appearance so I have my red cap my wine glass my red wine and the glass and the wine bottle so if you need to know what these settings that I have for this please let me know and I will send the file to you so once 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 that's done then the next thing we need to do is go into um, let me set my camera first so I'm going to go into the camera and because I worked on this previously I'm just going to load my camera so I'm just gonna right click load the wine and my final render is going to be in this view so the next thing I want to do is go back into the appearance so we need to add a decal to it so to add the decal right click new decal I'll browse to my file location and I want to select this decal and open so now I drag this decal on this body and to make this faster I'm just going to go back to preview mode and I'm going to turn on my object manipulation too and click this decal and um, click the decal and now I can scale it down and because I worked with this earlier um, the values that I found work for the decal uh, if I click over here it is 0 0.0502 and 0 0.0502 and the decal 
width is 0.0915 and the decal height is 0.1443 so that's what I found and I'm just going to drag it down somewhere like right there and I can move this around so I drag it to something like that and I can move it up a little bit and I'm just going to go back into um, the fast mode or oh, now nah, this time I can actually go back to accurate mode so right now this is what everything looks like and the only thing I don't like is and one thing to keep in mind is let me turn off this decal for now let me hide it and when I go into my scene the only thing that I notice when you are rendering glass and something to keep in mind is you see this the light looks good on the top but then starting from here down it has this grayish um, color on reflecting on the glass and the reason why it's doing that is because um, in our environment there is this gray this gray shading right under it and that is what is reflecting on it and you can see the three lights we have here those lights are reflecting perfectly on the top part of the the glass so what I my, this is just my own conclusion is when you are when I'm rendering a glass I want an HDR that is completely black but only as the lights I need to reflect on my glass when I tried that that gave me a perfect uh, result that I was looking for so so what I did is and you can actually make your own HDR in uh, Photoshop just make sure the entire the entire thing is black and just add the lights you need um, it's a little bit there's some challenge to it because you have to just mess around with it to see where the light is but for the most part you can create your own HDR in, in Photoshop so what I did is I actually created my own HDR which I'm going to add um, and I'm going to browse to the file location again. Um, I think I saved it under this wine bottle and I'm going to select that file. It is my wine 3 and that should load. So now as you can see in this new HDR all I have here are just the lights and the light is reflecting on my bottle so I now I don't have the gray stuff in it that reflects on the bottle which now reflects perfectly so now all I need to do is show my decal and we are almost done with this so on the decal another thing we need to do is go back to our material or you can create a new appearance that is paint and just make it white and add clear code to it which is what I did with this and I'm just going to add that to the decal just to make that decal shiny and the next thing we want to do in this scene I think I changed this to 1.1 1 .1. and 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 I also I'm gonna click on that again in the scene um, let me go back in the scene the background settings then I also uh, the floor reflection I did point one and that is pretty much all the stuff I did so we have our we have our decal in and let me see what else I did so the main thing just to keep in mind again once you, when you are rendering the glass I from my conclusion the only thing you need reflecting on the glass in your HDR environment are probably the lights and whatever object you want to reflect if you have any other shades of different color that would also reflect on your glass and it might make it look funny so let's to recap we we've said all that then the next thing we need to do is just so now I can actually change my view my aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and click OK then under my scene I can also add a back plate which I'm going to browse to the studio and choose the studio light gray 
and that is pretty much all I did and I just rendered it out browse to my file location render and 1920 by 1080 since it's glass I did maybe 5,000 pass just to get the the details in it and I click start render so that is pretty much all I did and thank you I will show you the result once it's done thank you and have a nice day bye